Hi, I am Bhavik Thakkar. Welcome to Bititude. If you are more comfortable with Hindi language, please hit the i button and watch the Hindi version of exact same video. But if you are comfortable with English, let's carry on. Well, we are here with the second question in our Bititude challenge series. Now, this particular question is from the topic time, speed and distance and it is about the race where you know people are racing, right? So, this is kind of a question which students more often or not find very complex and difficult. And we have come up with the perfect strategy and logic to deal with this kind of the question. And believe it or not, this particular question can be solved just within 20 seconds if you know the logic. And that is what we are here about. So, we are not going to just give you any trick. We are going to explain all the logic behind it. So, we will understand all the concept and terminology and then we are going to solve this question which you will be surprised to see that can be solved within 20 seconds. Let's get started. So, before we actually solve the question or try to solve it or try to understand anything about it, let's first understand the terminology and the logic concept behind the question on races. So, the concept is pretty simple. First of all, understand the terminology because there are particular type of sentences that are used to explain the conditions of races or something like that. Let's understand. Whenever it says a wins by 200 meter in a kilometer race. What exactly does that mean? So, if they are say for example, the other runner is B. So, this actually means that A is running the whole kilometer because he is winning, right? That means he is running the whole thousand meters. But on the other end, B is in that much time running 200 meter lesser, that is 800 meters. So, the speed of their, the, the ratio of the speed rather is 5 is to 4. That is what we can understand from this particular sentence. I hope you are getting this fine. What about the second one? A wins by 10 seconds in a kilometer race. So, when they are winning by distance, fine. When they are winning by distance, both time is same, right? A and B both are running for the same time, but A is winning. That means, he is running more distance. But here, when A is winning by time, that means, both are running the same distance. Both are, the other thing is same, right? Here, when he was winning by distance, the time was same. Here, when he is winning by seconds, the distance is same. That means, both are running a kilometer, but in that kilometer, A is winning by 10 seconds. That means, A is taking 10 seconds lesser than B. Fine? Because he is winning, that means he is taking lesser time. Are you getting the terminologies? This is very important, right? Rather than going for any tricks, just try to understand the logic as it is. Fine? Alright, then let us understand another terminology because sometimes they say the start a can give me 200 meter start in a kilometer race that also means a can beat me by 200 meter in a kilometer race so other again the time is same so the same time they are running but a can run 1000 meter and b only 800 meter it is just the another way of asking the or telling the same information or giving you the same information make sense right again a can give B 10 seconds start in a kilometer race. Again, that means both are running a kilometer, but A is taking 10 seconds lesser. That is why he is able to give 10 seconds start. Is this easy to understand? So, now we know both the languages. When we are say that A can give B a start or A is winning, means the same. Fine. But then there can be some more complex sentences which, which we must be able to understand. Now, here you go. If A gives B 200 meter start in a kilometer race, he wins by 50 meter. Now, what does that mean? So, that means he is already saying to B that you go ahead by 200 meter and still he is winning by 50 meter. Now, when he is winning, that means he is running the whole 1 kilometer, A is running the whole 1000 meters, but B who already got 200 meter start, so he had to run only 800 and still he lost by 50, so he ran only 750. Are you getting this? So, this means 
the speed of ratio is 4 the ratio of speed rather is 4 is to 3 are you able to understand this this is very important fine here it says a gives b 200 meter start and he loses by 50 meter so again because he is losing that means he is not able to run the full 1 kilometer he is running only 950 meter right because he is losing and b is running the full distance but how much distance he had to cover because he had 200 meter start he had to cover only 800 meter right so this is what that means that means their ratio of their speed is 19 is to 16 making sense right so these terminologies are very important and you have to understand the meaning of them once you are able to visualize and understand them the questions become very easy most of the time students don't understand these terminologies and that's why they are falling back logically fine and just by remembering the trick or memorizing the tricks which will vary in each and every question it would be very difficult to deal with this kind of the questions so please understand the logic now here are you getting this here again a is giving me 200 meter start in a kilometer race so that means a is running 1000 meter b is running only 800 and now he loses by 50 that means he could not finish his 1000 right he loses by it so he ran only he could run only 950 by the time b reached his 800 meter now here if a gives b 200 meter start in a kilometer race he wins by 5 seconds now when they are winning by time that means they are running same right so running whatever their respective distance was a is winning 1000 meter b is running 800 meter because he had 200 meter start so they both are running this much but in running this much a is taking 5 seconds less so that means for his 800 meter whatever time b is taking for his 1 kilometer a is taking 5 seconds less makes sense right I hope you are getting this this is very important to understand and the last one if a can give b if a gives b 200 meter start in a kilometer race now again it's the same thing right again it's the time so that means the same thing a is running 1000 b is running 800 right but this time a is losing by 5 seconds that means a is taking 5 seconds more that's the only difference here it was 5 seconds less here it is 5 seconds more so these things are very important fine all right then let's move to the next one fine if you are able to understand all this kind of the terminologies things become very simple enough again there are four more kind of data so if a gives b 10 seconds start in a kilometer race he wins by 50 meter so again now when he winning by distance that means he is running his full distance that is a kilometer and b is running because he didn't get any start in meter but he lost by 50 meter because a won that means b lost by 50 meter so b could run only 950 meter now try to understand a already gave b 10 seconds start that means b took 10 seconds more so for whatever time a is taking to run 1000 meter b is taking 5 seconds more for his 950 meters are you getting this look you can go forth and back right go back rewind the video go back just listen to it again and then you should be able to make sense out of it fine when you are able to understand this it's very easy now here a gives b 10 seconds start in a kilometer race and he is losing by 50 meter so again try to understand a is losing that means a is not able to win that means a is only running 950 meters and b is running his full 1000 kilometers a thousand meters rather one kilometer and this time also a gives b 10 seconds start that means b is taking five seconds more all right five seconds more fine getting this so whatever time he is taking for his 950 meter b for his thousand meter taking five seconds more now here if a gives b a 10 second start in a kilometer race so he wins by five seconds so now try to understand both are running the given distance right one kilometer one kilometer both are running one kilometer because neither of them is giving any start in meter or in it both the things are given in time right so now we can understand a gave b 10 seconds start and still he won by 5 seconds that means a is taking 10 plus 5 15 seconds lesser right for a kilometer so he is taking minus 15 seconds then whatever is 
be taking here also it is both time that means both are running their respective kilometer a is running one kilometer and so is b but a gave b 10 seconds start and he loses by five seconds so that means he is actually he shouldn't have actually given 10 meter, 10 seconds start right if he would have given 10 minus 5 5 seconds start because 10 is good plus 10 but there is minus 5 so overall he won only by 5 seconds so a is taking 5 seconds less minus 5 seconds than b are you getting this both are running a kilometer but a will take 5 seconds less does this make sense to you fine look if you understand this the things become very easy and you can answer the question something like this let's move on to the question now now of course you can pause the video and try to figure it on your own first right that's what you should be able to do and should be a simple enough process let's try to understand how we can answer this question it says in a race of 500 meters a gives b 14 meters start and still wins by 14 seconds that means a runs his 500 meter okay a runs his full distance now what happens with b because b is getting 14 meter start that means he actually ran 500 minus 14 meters fine and he lost by 14 seconds so for this much distance he took 14 seconds more than a 14 seconds more than a does this make sense fair enough right all right then now let's understand the other sentence however he wins by 94 meters when he gives a start of six seconds so he wins by 94 meters so again he is running his full distance but b is running 500 minus 94 that is his distance and in how much time because he is winning by six seconds that means he is taking plus six seconds makes sense right now we are supposed to find out what is b speed now we are given two data here and both are given with distance and time like for this much distance we took this much time for this much distance he took this much time so if you subtract one from the other right if you subtract say for example this minus this right then you also subtract the time fine the difference in distance is actually 80 meters because it's 94 and 14 500 is same anyway right so for 80 meter can you understand for 80 meter how much time is b taking here he was taking a plus 14 here he was taking a plus 6 so whatever time a was taking plus 14 here plus 6 what is the difference between the time 8 seconds so actually 80 meter in 8 seconds right are you getting this so that is nothing but 10 meter per second there you go right as simple as that fair enough are you getting it now if you have really worked hard on it if you have really understood the questions well and you have practiced a lot then you don't need to write anything right you will simply understand this that okay once you read the question you will understand <coughs> that here he gave 14 meter start here he won by 94 meters so in a way he gave 94 meters start so in a way in between these two the difference is b ran 80 meters more right and there a won by 14 seconds and here he gave a start of six seconds means he won by six seconds so overall he won by eight seconds so that means are you getting it right so if you understand directly the sentences and the meaning behind it it hardly takes 20 seconds once you read the question for 5 6 7 8 seconds then you instantly understand that it is 80 and in 8 seconds so that is 10 meter per second you take that and that's about it it would hardly take 15 to 20 seconds fine depending upon your practice are you getting this how easy it could have been fine so i hope you understood it and i hope you enjoyed this one and if you really did try this question as well this is your homework and don't try the normal method try the beatitude method fine answer this this particular question and don't give me only answer in the comment box also show me your method fine because that makes the real difference in the examination fine all right then that's about it fine you can ask the questions if you have got some really challenging question ask it in the comment box or you may join the whatsapp group or the telegram channel the description of both or the details of both the links of both are given in the description 
of the video. All right then, keep watching, keep learning and keep enjoying.